Welcome to day 11 of the 15 day songwriting challenge. Today we're going to talk about what a pre-chorus is and how to write one. If you're new here, please subscribe and you can download the free template in the description to help with your writing. There's also extra templates and resources over on Patreon. So a pre-chorus is a transitional section between the verse and the chorus. It's usually an extension of the verse and it builds up tension to the chorus. It's usually pretty short in length, so if your verse is four lines long, then your pre-chorus is usually about one to three lines long. And if your verse is about eight lines long, then your pre-chorus is going to be more like four lines long. So there are exceptions to this, like Ed Sheeran, who'll write some really long pre-choruses in his songs that still work. But if you're a beginner, I recommend trying to write a shorter pre-chorus, just because you don't want it to overshadow your verse or your chorus. So in terms of lyrics, the pre-chorus usually explains the relationship between the verse and the chorus. And you really only need about one to three short phrases of text for your pre-chorus. In terms of the chord progression, the pre-chorus can be a section where you can show some contrast. And this is especially nice if you're going to use the same progression in the verse and the chorus. You can also think about your rhythms because pre-choruses typically have quicker rhythms and this helps to build the momentum into the chorus. So if you're using quarter notes in the verse, like da, 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 then in the pre-chorus you might want to use eighth notes. So then you have da, 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 da. And you can do this in the melody or in the instrumental part or even both. In terms of melody, your pre-chorus melody is going to be different from your verse melody and your chorus melody. So a good strategy for the melody in the pre-chorus is to start from low and go to high. So when the pitch gradually rises like this, it's another strategy for building up tension. And it's also a good way to connect your verse melody to your chorus melody, since oftentimes your verse melodies are lower and your chorus melodies are higher. Another way to make contrast in the pre-chorus melodies is to change which beat it enters on. So let's say that in the verse, your melodies are always entering on beat one. Then in the pre-chorus, you want to just move that to a different beat. So maybe beat two, beat four, or maybe even an off beat. And this just helps the section to sound like a new part. So the amount of pre-choruses in a song can vary. Sometimes there's just one, most often there are two, and then sometimes there are even more than two because people are starting to use pre-choruses instead of writing bridges. Each time that the pre-chorus is repeated, you might have the same lyrics or you might have totally new lyrics. So it's really just up to you and what you wanna say. Not every song needs a pre-chorus, so your assignment for today is to think about whether or not your song could benefit lyrically or musically from having a pre-chorus, and if so, go ahead and write it. So think about the length, and think about the lyrical content, and then also think about these different strategies for creating contrast with the chord progressions, the rhythms, and the melodies. You can download the free template below to help you with your writing. If you're on Patreon, you can always download those extra templates and resources. And let us know in the comments if you're going to write a pre-chorus and what it's going to be about. If you want, you can even share it with us. So please like this video if you liked it and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you tomorrow when we talk about how to write a chorus. Bye!